I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this makeup look today. I kind of knew what I wanted to do at first, and then I just changed my mind halfway through because, I don't know, I just realized I wanted to incorporate more colors into my look. Um, and I wanted to do a cut crease as well because I thought it would just, I don't know, kind of pull the whole thing together, and I think it does. I really like, sorry, I keep like closing one eye and like looking at you guys, but I'm really happy with it and I love the glitter. I think it makes like such a big difference. Oh my god, dog, why are you barking? Um, I hope you guys enjoy this makeup video. Before you go, alright, I got these brushes from Kiss Bobo. They have like the cute little container. It uh, comes with a top piece too, also kind of matches my hair. But there are seven brushes. Um, there's a couple eye brushes and then a couple face brushes. Um, first off, oh, they're sturdy as f like they're made very well. Sorry, mine are very glittery from where I've been using them today, but they're beautiful. Um, they have a little grip on them too, like at the end. It's probably just showing you guys these brushes, but I'm sure you guys can see the grips from here. There's like a grip on each one. Um, cause honestly, I swear every single time I'm doing my makeup, I fling one or two brushes across the room cause I'm just, apparently I'm going so fast I can't control my own hand coordination. But yeah, I'm very, very content. I feel like I didn't have to work as hard when I was using these brushes. I was just kind of like doing a couple, you know, blending for like a minute or so and then I was just, it was done. Um, also I have to add that, uh, on top of being amazing already. They're cruelty free, so no animals were harmed in the making of these brushes. And um, they're they're synthetic. I'm, f I'm trying to like pull some hairs out just to see if it really doesn't shed. Because y'all know how you can just kind of like go like this and some hairs come out. I mean they're brand new so I doubt they're gonna do that. It'd be very sad to see. I definitely love these brushes and I'm going to be using them every single time I do my makeup now. Uh, like without a doubt, these are the best brushes I own. They're $25.99 and there's seven of them, which is an amazing deal if y'all know how expensive brushes are. Uh, so I would definitely check this out, maybe, maybe give it a try if you want. I just feel like they look very professional. And honestly when I got them in the mail I was like, is this a pin? Like, is, does it double as a, but no. <laughs> if you guys are interested, interested? I just can't say the word interested. If you guys are interested, the uh, brushes are from Amazon. There's a link in the bio if y'all want to check it out. Um, blush brush. Contour brush. Um, this is a foundation brush. Very nice. Sorry, all my makeup's coming off of them. And these are all... Uh, eyeshadow brushes, you know, you've got your like angled brush and you've got your blending brush and I actually think this one's a foundation brush too, my bad, and this is for like packing on found packing on foundation. This is for um packing on eyeshadow. See? And then you just like right. I just really like that it also goes with my hair. Alright guys, um, so, sorry my chair is so squeaky every time I move. I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I already have foundation on, so makes it a little bit easier. But, um, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's going to work on my eyebrows. Normally my eyebrows take a long time, but, um, I finally found a way to, like, do them that's a lot faster. Which is what I'm doing now. Um, I've kind of been really into lazy makeup recently, like quick, you know, wow, oops, hurt myself. eyebrow. 
the side bar already looks like it's done because it's darker on this side, but, um, well, this is my better eyebrow, too, on top of that. Like, y'all know, you got, like, that one good eyebrow that always comes out nice and it's, like, thicker, and then there's, like, this eyebrow that always needs a little extra help. Okay. So the sun is going down a little bit, it would be easier to do this, but I'm going to take this. It's an eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to use it to kind of shape out my eyebrows more. So I'm going to just take my NYX HD foundation. These brushes, whew, these brushes um, might be some of the softest brushes I've ever used. These are like crazy soft. But yeah, now I'm just going to shape the bottom as well. And then I'll go in and do the other one off camera, just cause I'm sure you guys don't want to see me repeat a million steps. Um, what I wanted to do was like, uh, my hair is orange, so I'm trying to do colors that look good with orange. But I'm not, I had an idea in my mind at some point, and I just forgot it. It's like yellow and something. Yellow and purple. We're doing yellow and purple. Okay, um, I've already, well, I have foundation on my eyes. We're just going to use that as a base. And the first thing I'm going to take my Take Me to Brazil palette and I'm just going to use the purples that they have in here. Um, probably these yellows too because these yellows are really pretty. So I'm going to take the same brush that I used on my eyebrows and dip into the top and bottom purple shade. I actually... hmm... I'm going to leave that on the brush. I had a change of heart, sorry. And I'm going to take the two yellows this one and this one, and put it all over my lid. Okay, uh, this is my first time using these brushes, and I mean, it's just yellow, so I hope that yellow would blend out really nice, but damn, this is blending out really nice. I'm going to take the Venus 2 palette and grab this mustard color and apply it on my lid as well with the same blending brush. Damn. Okay. This is going pretty well. Yes. Sorry my lighting is not doing it for you guys, but I've got the yellow. Lighting, where are you? Ah, that actually, it's probably not better. Okay, I've got the yellow down. Now I'm going to take Jam from the Venus 2 palette. I probably didn't even touch that because I hit it so fast. And just ever so lightly put it in the corner over here. Like, normally I spend a good while blending, but it doesn't feel as necessary with these. I was taking this somewhere and then I just changed what I was doing entirely. So, whoops. But this is this is nice. I'm going to take a tiny bit of this like pink red color. It's like a dark pink. I don't know why I called it pink red. And also put it in the corner over here.
Look at my hilarious lighting, but don't you just love this eyeshadow? Sorry, I'm gonna like zoom in. Oh, too zoomed in. Zooming out. If you ignore my really textury skin, this is a look. Look at my eyelashes in the other eye. Holy shit. I love it. Oh my god, look at my forehead. But moving on. So I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush. Is it going to focus? Yes. And I'm just going to do a cut crease because I just, I had an idea. We're going to go with it, you know? Alright, cut crease. It's not going to be like an intense cut crease though. Because your girl don't know how to do that. I'm like blinding myself while doing this. Okay, but now I'm going to take that purple that I saved from later, from later, from earlier, and I'm going to put it where I just made the cut crease. And I've decided I'm just going to do a weird type of rainbow kind of eye look since I'm already taking it this far. But yeah. I'm so focused, I'm sorry. But, basically just trying really hard to get a good cut crease. I'm gonna take that pink again from earlier and also make it a tad darker. Cause I didn't expect the uh, purple to be this deep. Okay, I'm going to use this concealer brush as an eyeshadow brush because it's pointy. I don't know. But I'm still using the BH Cosmetics uh, palette and I'm taking the two more aqua e blue colors they have. And I'm just going to put it... Maybe? We're making the whole under eye blue. It looks good like that. I didn't mean to do it, but... Hopefully uh, you can see it better in this video since it's like directly in the sunlight. But I'm just going to take the same blending brush I used for the purple and I'm going to blend the bottom because I don't really mind if there's a little purple in the teal. Alright, I'll be right back because I need different lighting now. I'm going to use my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I'm going to use my blush brush for contour because I can I love this brush I feel like I've never gone through a video this quick just because normally it takes me forever to blend and to get everything right and you know that could just be I could be having a good makeup day but it's also my first time using these brushes so a bit of my chin yes. and then my forehead of course but look at how beautiful it is Dazzled Tarte Blush. Um, this blush itself is very 
I don't want to say old because it's not old, but it's just very dry on top and I don't know why. Let's see how this blush brush applies blush. I put a lot of blush on. It's a little overbearing, honestly. It's because I just scraped my blush and just kind of went for it. Gonna take my Vivid Bakes, blah, my Vivid Baked Highlight and Radiant Lights and coat my brush in it because I love this stuff. Today is Black Friday and I haven't bought anything. Isn't that crazy? I actually, I want to use my other highlighter, which is Peach Lights. I feel like this one would look a lot better. I mean, this one looks great too, but. And just love highlight in general. I use this glitter like every time, but I'm gonna take this Lemon Head uh, glitter in the color Mermaid and I'm just going to pack it in the inner corners of my eyes very lightly. I want like a very subtle glitter and I already put like a little too much on one side so I'm trying to like save it a little. I'm just going to do this kind of nude color first. I believe it's by Smashbox. It's called Audition. It's exactly my lip color. So that's why I bought it. For those natural, unnatural days. <laughs> 